Battlefield Podcast. Hey guys, it's Tim, aka Darkness429 from the Battlefield Podcast, and you are tuned in for another episode of Battlefield 4 Lowdown. So last week, we got a lot of new information for Naval Strike. We got some really pretty pictures uh, of the new maps. We got a look at the new vehicle, the Hovercraft, and potentially a new weapon coming to the Assault class. So right off the bat, we get a look at the new Hovercraft. It's very interesting. It's very unique to the battlefield. We get a vehicle that's able to go on water like a sea dew It has a back seat, so the same as the sea dew the dirt bike, the ATV, but... This can also go on land, like a real hovercraft. So that's really cool. It's uh, something unique. Uh, the APCs um, and also the mobile AA have the ability to float in water. Uh, but this is a fast-moving attack vehicle. So it, it's able to, to go from point A to point B very quickly. Um, looks to be almost faster than a sea dew. Can't confirm that yet. Um, and then also it's all-purpose in the sense that it can go from, from land to water or, or vice versa. So that's very... It's very cool for um, for storming an MCOM or or, uh, or other things like that. So it's very multi-purpose, if you will. We also get a look at the new weapon coming to the battlefield, the ARX-160, that has yet to be confirmed by DICE. But a lot of uh, Battlefield fans have been taking a look at that weapon and, and cross-examining it with, with real-life pictures of assault rifles. And we found out that this is the ARX-160. It's a very cool assault rifle. It's a lot smaller, uh, almost as small as like an MTAR, uh, but it is for going to be for the assault class. So that would be very cool. We also get a look at some of the new maps. We get a look at the Lost Islands map with this downed jetliner. Uh said that you're able to blow through this thing. I'm not sure why or, or what uh, what the purpose is for that uh, or how it's triggered. Uh, but we do know that you are able to manipulate the jet with an explosion and blow through it. Um, so potentially that could be used for an M MCOM placement. Uh, it could be like inside the jet and you have to blow up the jet to get inside of it. Um, or maybe it's a large evolution effect. Not entirely sure. We know that was teased. Uh, and hopefully we'll we'll get some more information about that soon. We also get a look at what seems to be the new aircraft carrier that's going to be used in the new game mode called Carrier Assault. If you guys aren't sure what Carrier Assault is, that is the newly reimagined fan favorite 2142 game mode called Titan Mode, uh, but it's being brought back from future times in 2142. It's being brought back uh, into modern times in Battlefield 4 uh, with the same concept, so they say. If you guys are unfamiliar with what Titan Mode is, uh, the gist of it is that both teams had a large, I guess, futuristic aircraft carrier that was floating in the sky. Each team had to bring down its shields, and then you were able to get inside and then blow up different parts of the ship to get to the reactor core, and then blow that up, and then you won the game. So, if we bring that over into into modern times, what I would think is, is that you have a set of, of missiles that you'd use to breach the hull in the aircraft carrier, once you break through the aircraft carrier, you're then able to go to different parts of the ship. You go to the bridge and you go to engineering. You'd go to uh, to medical bay. You you'd go to all these different places. You'd blow up certain objectives. And then once that was done, then you could go into the engine room and you could destroy the engine room and cripple the ship. And once that was done, then you'd have X amount of seconds to get off the aircraft carrier before it exploded. And then you'd win the game. So I'm really excited to see how DICE has reimagined this and bringing it into Battlefield 4 because I am a 2142 veteran. I've played played all of them. And Titan Mode was one of the coolest game modes. And I know that Chuck1 and I played that for hours and hours and hours. So uh, it was a lot of fun, and I'm really happy to hear that that is coming back. I'm glad that DICE was listening to the community because that was one of the game modes that they cried for, uh, passionately wanted in Battlefield 4, and now we're getting it. So it's very exciting and can't wait to see that come to life in Battlefield 4. Well, guys, that's really it. That's that's about it for the, the big chunk of news that came last week. I hope you guys are enjoying the series of Lowdown. I really enjoy summing up all of last week's news and bringing it to you. So if you like the video, make sure to hit the like button and tell your friends. Make sure to share it. Get it out there for everyone to see. If you're new to the channel, you like what we're doing here at the podcast and the old YouTube channel, please make sure to hit the subscribe button. All of the subscriptions that we get are greatly appreciated and they help us out. So please make sure to hit that button. 
If you guys would like to follow us on Twitter, you can follow us at BF Podcast. And for all the other social media links uh, for myself, for Chuck One, all our Twitch channels, for our live streams, you can head on over to www.battlefieldpodcast.com for all of those. Thanks so much for watching, guys. It's always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next video.